Hello my friends, today is April 14th. Our topic is when expectation delays. My beloved friends, are you finding it very hard to change your spouse heart to love you and care for you as your spouse doesn't spend time with you or doesn't bother about you or even he doesn't understand your affection and feelings? Or is your work officer or your supervisor intentionally delaying your applications and promotions that you are anticipating for? At the same time, your own juniors are considered for promotions? Or are your sickness and pain keep deteriorating and doesn't seem to be healed? Our devotion comes to us today from Revelation chapter 3, verse 5. The one who is victorious will, like them, be dressed in white. I will never blot out the name of that person from the book of life, but will acknowledge that name before my father and his angels. My brothers and sisters, people in the church of Sardis were never valued Though they tried to do their best thing, though they tried to support one another, though they tried to sacrifice their time and energy, even today, you may be worrying about why people are so cruel, why people don't want to take a minute to appreciate me, why people don't want to take a few words of appreciation. For the matter of fact, you are very discouraged and demotivated today because your sweat is not valued. Jesus encouraged the church of Sardis by saying three motivational points when they were discouraged. Perhaps that message is for you as well today. Number one, best things always delay. My friends, temporary things and immature things are always quick but unstable. You may be expecting a simple thanks from somebody. You may be expecting a simple appreciation from your friends. You may be expecting simple gratitude. Perhaps you may not get what you anticipated now, but your day is coming and Jesus will treat you with royalty and purity. He will clothe you with white garments. And your name may not be respected and honored today, but God has a day for you. He will exalt you and everyone in heaven and earth will look upon you. Number two, keep doing next. My friends, if your waiting is delayed, don't stand there. Just move on to the next. Let your expectations, let your appreciations, let your blessings come later. You have lots to achieve in this world for yourself, my friends, for your family. Therefore, every minute is precious for you. God has given just one life for you and me and make use of it productively rather than waiting for simple appreciation every time. Number three, Jesus knows your pain and love. My friends, whether your spouse value or not, Jesus values you. Whether your family members understand your love or not, Jesus understands your love. Jesus will confess you and acknowledge you before our Father and angels. Your hard work will never go in vain. Your tears will never go wasted and your effort will never go unnoticed. Here is the hope for you today from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. That's why I am suffering as I am. Yet, this is no cause for shame, because I know whom I have believed, and I'm convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him until the day. My friends, never give up. Never be discouraged when your expectation delays. Let's pray. Heavenly God, thank you so much for the patience you are giving us. We are expecting so many things, 
but the delays, Lord. But as long as you are there, our expectation will never fail on any way. So thank you for our days. Thank you for your providence and thank you for your time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.